I'm AJ Swiatek here with Mankato Moondogs field manager Danny Neeland. Coach, your team hasn't played at ISG Field since back before the All-Star break, but in your return, it's clear they haven't missed a step. 10-3 win over the Hot Tots. Walk me through it. What was going well for your guys tonight? Yeah, it was nice to get back in front of the home crowd. Um, we've been on the road a lot lately, so um, it was nice to get back and have some home cooking and um, get some work in before the game, back in our own turf, um, and the guys just embraced it and obviously fed off the uh, the energy of the fans. We had a great crowd tonight, too, um, and that uh, obviously helps us. These uh, games at the end of the season at home are always fun because uh, there's always good energy in the ballpark, and um, guys are just trying to embrace their last few games in front of the, the ISG crowd, so um, it was cool to see them get after tonight. And obviously everyone's going to point to the nine runs in the first three innings of work. That's going to make things easier for your arms. But both Sahaski and Crab had really good outings this evening. What specifically did you like from your starter and lone relief arm? Obviously huge, only using just the two arms. But what was working for those two? Yeah, Zach, uh, you know, coming off the little bit of a tweaked bicep a couple weeks ago, um, got back on the bump. He's been battling to get back and uh, finally got the inflammation down. So to get him back out, you know, we were trying to keep him right at 40 to 50 pitches, and he was super efficient. Um, curveball was really good tonight and kept guys off balance, and then Bryce came in and did his thing. So, um, and really proud of Bryce. He was able to land a slider for a strike, and that was able to play the fastball off of everything. So um, great effort on both ends. Um, we've had some times where we've gotten some leads and we've given them back, um, which some really, really nice shutdown innings tonight, which was able to keep the momentum going for us. And this evening marks a third consecutive win. How do you plan on helping your guys to carry this momentum moving forward in a big second half push? Tomorrow's a new day. Um, like we've talked before, it's a it's a blank scoreboard tomorrow. So um, we just take it uh, one game at a time. I know that's a cliche that nobody really gets excited about, but it's the truth. So um, we're going to get after tomorrow and, and just try to bring the same energy we had tonight. Makes sense. Thank you, Coach. Congrats on the big win. Thank you.